take it out of God's hands and try to do it yourself. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It's Friday. Can you believe it? Finally, yes. Not today, Satan. Not today. Anyway, um, so when you worry, mm. first of all, scientifically proven that when you worry, it really help doesn't help you. Um, it actually hurts your health. Right? Hurts your health. Mm -hmm. Hurts your heart rate. Hurts your. Um, craving for food, then you eat, stress eat, or worry eat, you know. That's true. Eat your sorrows away. Or you involve yourself into something that's not good for your body, like drugs, alcohol, pornography, things like that. Um, and so somehow we always want to worry and, and try to fix it ourselves. So um, God in his infinite wisdom through Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 says, and I love the word therefore. Therefore means all, if all this is true, if all this, what I said is going to happen, therefore, this is the conclusion. Like therefore is like this transition word that says, okay, then if this is true, then this has to be true. Okay. So since we're trusting in Jesus, since he's given us everything that we ever need, um, not what we want, but what we need. Um, then therefore, I tell you, and this is Jesus telling us, do not worry about your life. A lot of people worry so much about physical life that they don't look at the spiritual life that will last longer than themselves. Um, you know, we always worry about health and we worry, not that you don't want to be healthy, but a lot of times we put so much emphasis. I mean, it's a billion dollar industry of health. Um, you know, drink this and you'll be skinny or this and you'll be healthy or this. I mean, which one's right? So everybody's worrying, everybody's spending money on it. Yeah, remember one year eggs were good for you, one year eggs were bad for you, yeah. one, the next year. Yeah. yeah, who knew? So it says, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear. Now, promise tomorrow. Oh, yes. You know how many people are freaking out because they don't have the right attire or they don't have the right shoes or I think just it's interesting talk so, about so. a billion dollar industry there you go. prom prom seasons good grief <laughs> it's like having a, it's like having a wedding it is you have to have all this other stuff but with graduation but seriously what you know you worry over all this stuff and then it's over and done with and you spend all this money and you're like okay what was that for yeah um and then it says, is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? So is, isn't life, I mean, life is precious. Why are we always worried about the simplest things that really distract us from what's important? Mm -hmm. What, you know, what's important is our spiritual lives that we're um, with God through Jesus and having the Holy Spirit to help us. If we don't have that, then really everything, just like Ecclesiastes says, is worthless. It's, it's meaningless. There's no meaning to life if we don't have Jesus at the center. Um, because, you know, food runs out, our bodies run out, our clothes will get holes in it. We have to buy more clothes. We have to, you know, things burn up. And we put so much stock in that stuff and we worry about it. And it physically and spiritually hurts us when we worry about that stuff. Stop worrying about it. Just pray about it. God will provide. And then we just focus on the good stuff of life, which is the spiritual thing. It's so, a little easier said than done. It is, because we get bombarded daily, minutes, seconds of our life mm -hmm. about politics, about what to wear, about fashion, about what what is the new market on food. What's the, like, we're sitting here talking, how are we going to go shopping today, mm -hmm. you know, for food? Um, you know, time slots and time restraints and all kinds of stuff. And it just, it eats up so much time that we worry about those things. And uh, anyway, my encouragement for you today is stop worrying. Just give it to God and do the best you can. That's all he wants from you. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great Friday.
Okay. Love you, bye.